Hey, all you cool creatures. I'm Cryptid. Welcome to the Cryptid Place YouTube channel. Today, we are continuing the Hikikomori route in Omori. Last time, we, uh, we did chores in the real world, then adventured around headspace. And today's video is much of the same, although as you can see, the screen has changed because we have a uh, hit black space again, although I skip a vast majority of it throughout the video. Um, as far as content warnings go for today's video, there will just be elements of horror, violence, possible flashing lights, depictions of depression, and implications of suicidal tendencies and self-harm. And uh, yeah, with that, let's get started. All right, we are in Brevin, which I think means we have a boss battle coming up, if I recall. Uh, I have not been here, so I don't entirely know, but yeah. We looked at this before, I think. Today's menu, fresh bread. Tomorrow's menu, fresh bread. Mmm, delicious fresh bread. Alrighty. It's a kitchen! Oh, that's cute. And it's the twins. It's, um, Mikhail's brother and sister. Or, I guess, the Maverick's brother and sister. Oh-ho! 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 <laughs> They're so weird! I love them so much! Oh my god! What is that? That's so cute! Although that thing kind of looks like an eyeball. We were born to make bread forever, day in and day out. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. It's a hard life, and it's not very rewarding. But this is all we have. We just have to be grateful, right, Biscuit? Oh ho, that's right, brother. This has always been our life, trapped in an endless circle of bread. <laughs> oh ho. Oh ho. They're so weird. Oh ho. So this is where the wailing was coming from. Ah! The bread. It has spoken. I knew that our bread would come back to haunt us eventually. <laughs> come back to haunt them. Oh my gosh, they're so weird. Come, Biscuit. We must destroy them before they destroy us first. Well, hey now. No one's... Well, I, I guess we're going to be fighting them. I was going to say no one said anything about destroying, but... I guess maybe that is what we're going to do. Wait a sec. We're not... Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Oh my gosh, they're really cute. Alright, um... I don't know a strategy for this, so let's see if I survive. Unbred twins pull out... Uh, I didn't read that. It was a little too fast for me. My apologies. Just in case. Creepy pasta, that's so cute. Oof. 
makes Hero feel uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. The, okay, I see. They called out the creepy pasta. They pull out some fresh bread from the oven. This music is very intense, by the way. I'm uh, quite enjoying it. You know, it's funny that it seems the creepy pastas were only affecting Hero. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Every day it's fresh bread. Oh ho. They're sad. Unbred twins can no longer become happy or angry. By the way, I can't get over unbred. I think it's cute. Oh, they can heal. Gosh dang, of course they can heal. They're food based. That makes sense. There's a small chance we might not be able to beat them. But if that's the truth, I'll be very upset. We're doomed to bake bread for all eternity. Aren't we, Biscuit? Oh ho. We're running out of supplies. What do we do, Biscuit? Oh ho. Unbred twins became depressed. Oh dear. Honestly, this is a tough battle, but not the worst. And they're healing for less and less. That's pretty good. I might be able to take them. <laughs> I sincerely wish they would attack us so that we could uh, do our uh, uh, teamwork attack. We're running low on everything. We have almost nothing left. Oh ho. Unbred twins became miserable. Okay, we beat them. It was a long battle, but not actually that difficult. Our resources have been depleted. What will we do without ingredients? Oh ho! I'm glad that we won. That makes me happy. Omari's party was victorious. You gained 19,332 experience points. Dang! You got 10,026 clams. Omori grew to level 27. Aubrey grew to level 26. Kel grew to level 27 and learned Rally. Hero grew to level 27. <laughs> I got the achievement. Ooh -hoo. Amazing. <laughs> We're all out of juice. It seems that this is the end for us, Biscuit. Oh, wait. We're not bread. We're kids just like you. You... you mean you're not here to destroy us? Of course not! We would never attack unprovoked! Do you hear that, Biscuit? We're saved! Now it's back to baking. Fresh bread! Fresh bread! 
Fresh bread. Oh, oh. Amazing. I honestly really love this sequence. Hey, so how long have you guys been baking bread here? Don't you want to go outside and get some fresh air? Oh, ho! Oh. if only that were possible. We've been trapped here since the inception of the universe. Wow, that sounds like a pretty long time. I think you both deserve a break. What? That's preposterous. What meaning do our lives have if we do not spend it baking bread? Oh ho. If we were to leave our bread making stations, what would we do with ourselves? This is the only life we know. And yet, my morbid curiosity overwhelms me. That portal up there is able to transport us out of this place. We've used it countless times to fulfill our bread summonings, but we have never seen the other side for ourselves. Well, we have. And let me tell you, it's a big, awesome world out there. I think it's about time that you guys start exploring new possibilities. Hmm. Tempting. Well, what do you think, Biscuit? Oh ho. Hmm. I'm listening. Mm hmm. Yes. But. Ah. That is true. All right. We've changed our minds. We want to leave. This place sucks. Oh ho. Biscuit. We've always been afraid to use the portal. But perhaps it's time for change. Come on, brother. Let's experience our first taste of freedom. You go, kids. Oh, ho. <laughs> the freaking ladder. So not magical at all. I freaking love it. All right. Is there anything I can collect here? Holy kitchen. Oh, is that all it's going to say? Yep. All right, that's it. Let's go through the portal. Never heard of using a ladder on a portal, but you know. <laughs> Were those our graves? Possibly. Anyways, you got red phones. Okay, that's a great pun. Not gonna lie. And we are out of here. Also, I'm gonna look for the Lost Forest because I guess I missed it when I last went to the uh, Powerfly Forest and went through the spider area. Well, spider cat area. So I'm gonna go look for that. So there's gonna be a bit of a jump here. See you on the other side. All right. I found it! Yes! I'm just terrible with directions. But, you know, that's okay. That is okay. Hello, fella. Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Alright, what do I do over here? I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. Shadow Wabbits! Okay, we can't escape, apparently. Whoosh! They eat your juice. Okay, at least they're actually not that hard to fight. Hmm. 
fact, that was pretty dang easy. Ooh, Aubrey learned to beat it down. Good, good. Trying to lose yourself, or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here. To finish the job. Hmm, perhaps. Usually we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. Hmm. So apparently over here? I guess we're kind of supposed to follow the ghost bunnies. You're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. Well, depends. I'm not trying to get more lost, personally. Oh, a pearl. You picked up a pearl. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. Hmm. That's a little eerie. Oh. Okay. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding away from the right way. Nah. I believe this is right. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? I don't know. There's an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that, like this forest. Lost. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, here we go. This must be the end. You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. The dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet... Despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but never went away. The dreamer could run and bury his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. 
to truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamers lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be part of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet, the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Whoa. Not gonna lie, this place is a trip. Alright. That's fine. All right, there's probably going to be more of a uh, more jump cuts to uh to things that we have not seen yet, but that was a trip. All right, onward. So, uh I noticed that this uh fella here has this above his head. Wait a minute. This is oh, This is Orange Joe's brother, isn't it? Ooh, that's exciting. All right, let's talk to him. Whoa, did not expect that body. Eh, where am I? Who are you? Wait a second. You look kind of familiar. That body shape, that citrusy exterior. It's undeniable. You must be Orange Joe's twin brother. Oragne Joe. My name is Oragne Joe. And I have a twin brother. Yeah, and he's been looking for you all this time. Here, take this. He told us to give it to you. You gave Oragne Joe the orange crest. This! This crest! Could it be? Ever since I was young, I have looked everywhere for my true home. The only thing I've had to my name was this pendant with an orange-shaped crest engraved on it. The same one that appears on this orange crest. It all makes so much sense now. I know who I am. I must be... Orange Joe! Brother! I don't believe my eyes. It really is you. Yes, brother. I, I think my dyslexia got to me. I probably misread what he said. That's okay. It is me. Aragne Joe. There is no mistake. I can feel it in my citrusy heart. Oh, how I've missed you, dear brother. Yes. My body is full of hope and vigor. Oh, how I've waited for this day. We meet at last, dear brother. Let us embrace. 
Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Good for them, honestly. I must thank you, children. I have thought about my dear brother for every day of my life, and now he is finally here. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. You got life jam. Ooh. Yes. Thank you for reuniting us. I have waited so long to find my one true home. Take this. It is a gift from me. You got another life jam. Come now, dear brother. Let us go home. You are too gracious, dear brother. In celebration of this meeting, let us walk together. Hope and vigor! Hope and vigor! It makes me think of, um... <laughs> uh, well, the English version of Trigon. Love and peace! Actually, I think that he does that in the Japanese version, too. But yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Hope and vigor! They sure are full of vigor. And hope, I assume. Some oranges. Wow, I unlocked an achievement called Hope and Vigor. Honestly, in, in all truth, I only came up here for the, uh, the X key. Because... There's a lot of stuff I want to unlock. Alright, next floor. Chicken. Hot dog. Alright, let's uh, head on up to the next uh, level. Also, apparently I think there's something you can get for finding the chickens, but I'm not usually 100%er. I could try. Also, do you know how terrifying that is to have those chickens uh, just up there on the hooks back there? Scary. Oh. Alright. Maybe it's for this chicken specifically. Gosh dang. No wonder. No wonder there's an achievement for that. It runs away forever. I know smoothie. Oh, pizza. Wait, so how do I talk to the dinosaur? Oh, dang it! Oh well, we did make it to the top. That was still pretty cool. Uh, I'll try again later. I, I would like to know how to talk to the dinosaur sticking out of here. Maybe. Hold on. Maybe there's something I can do. I am curious about that. Hey, how do I talk to you? Hmm. Maybe I should look that up. I'm gonna figure this out. I need to figure out how to talk to him. Excuse me. How do I speak to you? I just want that quest. I will figure that out. I guess I'll go on to regular story stuff, so there's probably going to be a bit of a jump again. Just so y'all know. I figured before I go back into Black Space, which uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely looking forward to, but I am going to be recording part of it because uh, I've heard some of it's different. So before all that, we are going to go to the ghost party because this is the first time that I've actually uh, completed this quest. 
You are pretty sure this pool is haunted. Do you want to go in? Yeah. I already got something from a couple of ghosts. I had to make sure I uh <laughs> didn't miss any, so yeah. I uh, came here and talked to a couple ghosts, and I was like, oh, I know which one I'm missing, so. Gee willikers, I can't believe I'm here. And I bet I look super cool with all of you talking to me. You just know that I gotta repay you. Got a big rubber band. Thank you, children. Now that I am at this party, it's much easier to enjoy my afterlife. You must take this in return for brightening my day. Life jam, nice. The decorations this year are top notch. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> this party is sensational. Here's a little something I picked up on the way here. It ain't much, but it's all I got. Waffle, thank you. Huzzah! The feast is saved! Now, let the festivities begin! So cute. <laughs> oh my god, yes. I love them so much. Beautiful dancing, all of you. I unlocked the achievement, Ghost Party. Oh yeah, I didn't talk to Glass as a ghost. Oh, this party is everything I imagined it would be. Thanks for leading me here and all. This is a gift for you. Dead batteries, thank you. Now I guess, uh, go off to black space. Um, once we get in there, I will probably do a big old jump cut until the changes do happen. Well, here we go. The start of all this. Or perhaps close to the end of all this. <gasps> oh, that changed. Also, I haven't watered the flowers because I was getting nothing from them. But yeah, Basil did not say anything. Whereas in the true route, he talks about how white tulips remind him of Sunny. Honestly, I do love the little changes. I guess that wasn't quite Basil. That's Stranger, but it is Basil, too. All right, here we go. Into the darkness.
Yep. Welcome to Black Space. Collect all the keys. All right, so uh, I've gone through basically all of those doors so now time to go through this last one again i think this is where it's going to start getting different obviously i've never done the hikikomori route before so i don't really know Flower crown. It has been preserved by the cold. Do you want to pick up the flower crown? Yeah, of course I do. You got a flower crown. Yep, they still say pitter patter, pitter patter. Thank goodness you're here, Omori. I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Not on my watch, Headspace Basil. I promise. I can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. I never realized how cute that little animation was. Just catches him and bloop, flops him on, on the floor. Sunny, you've been running away from the truth for so long. How long will you keep running? I won't let this cycle repeat itself. I... I won't let you leave me, Sonny. Not again. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Yep, this was definitely different. Poor Sonny. Oh, it's the same something that's around Basil when you fight him in his room. Sonny, if you won't face the truth, then face me. Face the suffering you've caused for the people you love, the pain of knowing what you've lost, and the hatred of yourself for being too cowardly to change anything about it. Let those feelings devour you here until your insides rot. You're not very nice. Okay, Sonny. Pretty sure we got this. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Sonny. All those times that I reached out to you, 
Why didn't you answer? I don't know. You promised me that we'd face this together. But you left me all alone. Focus. I guess I have to keep trying even though it's not working. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. If we can't face it together, at least we can be together here. You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. Sonny, I'll trap you down here with me. Forever. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Oh, poor Sonny. This is really distorted. Okay, Sonny. Oh, ew. He's crawling. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry I glitched out there for a second. Camera setup is different now. So, <laughs> if uh, I look strange for a second, I apologize. So you've chosen to live that way. I wonder, can you really call that living? Leave me here. There's no hope left for me. Well... Omori! Omori! Wake up! There's light coming from the ceiling. Do you think it's a way out? Omori! You're so heavy! Come on! Up the stairs you go! Oh, Mori? Phew. Thank goodness you're awake. Are you hurt at all? I was trying to pull you toward this white light at the top of the staircase. I get a really nice and warm feeling from it. Let's go up together. Alright. Oh. 
It's really pretty. The hand staircase is a little odd, but well. Hey, look at that. There's a bunch of um like Basil's hair in the background and all those hands. That's really weird. I like it. Love the designs in this. I see, I see. These are basically the uh the doors in black space that we go through. Hmm, that makes sense though. I love the changing scenery, it's so cool. <gasps> oh, that cute little- oh my gosh! Our Headspace friends! God, I love Cal. He's so cute. I'll always be there to protect you, little brother. Who wants a group hug? Let's go on an adventure, Omori. Just the two of us. We can rest now, Omori. All of our friends are here. Wait, should I have saved? I should have looked at everything. Oh, why didn't I? Oh, well. That's sometimes how I roll, I guess. One day left. Hmm. Hi, friend. Sort of. You have a new message. Hey, Sunny, it's Mommy. Tomorrow is the big day. The movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the key, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Zzz. Can't talk to them. We're all Mori now. Oh gosh. Well, I uh, I think I'm gonna leave this here for now. We've gone through and done some more extra things that uh, I've been meaning to do, and we have even more to do after our chores on our one day left, which is super exciting. If you liked the video please hit that like button and if you want to see more of me but you haven't yet please subscribe i upload videos every monday and wednesday as well as shorts and possibly short videos throughout the week i also stream on twitch on tuesday thursday friday and saturday i've mentioned before that sometimes i don't do fridays but it is at least twice a month and i hope to see you all next time bye